Hello everybody, this is House of Tutorials. Today we'll be going over the embodiment of the Marauder set. Uh, for this we have the Diamond to reduce cooldown of all skills. And we also have, for this, you don't have to use this, but for this you use Crater Shot, so the Elemental Arrow generates hatred instead of costing hatred. Definitely the Bomb Beater Sack for more sentries. I don't really need this since you can't get hit anyways, but um, restraint and focus for damage, that for more damage. And go for the skills, elemental arrow, get the frost one that breaks off so it'll kill more enemies quicker. Same thing with cluster arrow, the maelstrom, so the little rockets go everywhere. You want the back companion just for a little extra hatred. Vault to run around with the tumbles, so you can do it more often. And for sentry, you want the Spitfire, so they do more damage as well with all the extra rockets. Smokescreen, I never use that, it's just an extra skill. Awareness, kind of pointless considering you can't get close to anybody. Ambush for more damage. Engineering, uh, so that your traps or your sentries last longer and you can have an additional one. Ballistics, so your sentries do more damage um, with the rockets and you have a chance to shoot out rockets as well for more damage. Just damage, damage, damage. Okay, now we'll go to the cube. For this, Calamity just for more damage. Lyric's Crown for more cooldown reduction. And Convention of the Elements. I'll mainly be doing cold damage here as well as the... Uh, those do fire damage as well for the Spitfire, for the little rockets. Okay, but for location will be in Act 3, we'll be going to the Bridge of Corsic. Uh, once again, I already went there for you, so we'll just teleport straight here. Go to the map, it's just you just go up north a little bit, past all the monsters, over to this trebuchet looking thing, and it'll pop up here for you. For the objectives, we have kill 140 enemies with three or more sentries active. Just keep them active the whole time. You'll definitely want it. Do not allow any enemies into melee range. This is like that wizard map where those stupid little worm things come up out of the ground. Surprise you and you fail. Hey, and as always, kill everything with the time allotted for my four minutes and 30 seconds. So we'll start here, do three right away. And just I pretty much spam my left click elemental arrow the whole time. And here's that first little guy that comes out of the ground. They are just like the wizard map. They're in the same spot each time. So if you really need to, you can map them out and just memorize where they are. Or you can just walk around and kind of get the general gist of where they are. Just walk around enough to where they won't get you by surprise. But you want to keep keep doing the sentries. This is a good one to have over the hill. Um, unfortunately, quite a bit of the map you're going um, below, which means you can't really see, which is pretty frustrating. But here's another one coming up right there. Wait for it. It's got to be a glitch, but when you get it down to like a 1% health, for some reason it takes several hits to kill it, even though you do millions, sometimes billions of damage. So it's got to be a glitch or something. I don't know what's with that. It's, I died once because ran up next to it when I should have been dead, but for some reason it just sat there at that low health forever and ever. Okay, but we have another one up here. I'm being cautious because I know I don't know the exact area. I know it's around here somewhere. And there it is. Destroy it. See right there. It gets like no health, but it keeps living for an additional second or two, which is really irritating. So just make sure they're dead before you get close to those. And it's one of those parts where you have to go to the bottom, just keep spamming, keep pressing sentry as many times as you can, as long as just keep it active. And these little guys are kind of hard to see when you got these stupid arrows and rockets flying everywhere. Um, it's a reason to just spam everything. It's nothing over here, but here in this next little area we'll have one. Coming up, start to be a little cautious, and there he is. Blast him away. Okay, go ahead and get back here for any stragglers. Just a couple. I have your vault. Only do this, obviously, when you're area cleared. I'm going to run into one of those stupid little zombie things. 
Okay, keep spamming. We got another little worm thing coming up at the ground pretty soon. Start to be cautious here. Uh, a few times I ended up placing my sentry right on top of him, so I just couldn't see him coming out. There it is, right there. So if you have a sentry on top of it, it's a little more difficult to see, but if you do have your volume up, you usually can hear him coming up as well. With this video, I have the volume down so you can hear me better. And we're pretty much almost done with the second objective. And once that first kill 15 enemies goes away, you'll start getting skulls. So this will be much easier. You can kind of just speed through it and not have to be as cautious. And then you want to have, same with most other maps, have a little method to where you go. You don't want to miss a little, one little tiny pocket and fail because you're halfway across the map. Okay, but we're almost there, just three more. Still a little cautious. Okay, now we'll have the skulls, so you can kind of just zip through everything like this. There's nobody there, so you know there's a stupid thing pop up, kill it. And we can just run through it, only have 60 seconds. Can be a little close, but not too bad. Kill everything. Okay, that was kind of a dead end. A waste of like 10 seconds. Go ahead and go south here. At this point, I didn't memorize where the little things coming out were. Oop. Go ahead and vault out of the way of that one. Pay attention to those skulls. And start to panic here, but luckily they are clustered together towards the end here. And there's another stupid thing about to pop up. See its skull in the ground. Okay, we just about got it here. If there's any. Oh, right, yeah. Hey, okay, there you go. For the embodiment of the Marauder set, it's very frustrating. A stupid little enemy pops out of nowhere. You can't really see him very well. I've got rockets flying everywhere, lights flying everywhere. Right, if you have any suggestions or tips for future videos, leave me a comment below. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you on my next video.